quick stream. We don't know if it's going to be a quick stream or a long stream or a slow stream or a fat stream. But a stream, it will be. Mm. There we go. Instantly have it. So it's actually Star Wars music. Oh, it's just a StarCraft music. All right. Here you go, my dear friends. Best of fives today. The sound is pretty freaking loud, isn't it? Lower that a bit. Maybe it's too low now. You guys tell me. All right, my dear friends. What are we doing over here? CVZ. That's what we're doing right here. <sighs> Rainer vs. Z laser. Yes, uh, in the top left we have a laser. Bottom right, Rainer. Please do note that the colors don't entirely correspond with... Or the position in the UI doesn't correspond with their position on the map. This is a, a problem that's often that often happens. In StarCraft 2. Ooh, both players here are uh, getting that fast Roach Warren. Quick lair for your laser. Double gases as well coming in for the Polish Zerk. Well, we see Rainer not doing a whole lot. Greetings from the West Coast, Captain. Uh, greetings back to the West Coast. You're up uh, early, aren't you? What time is it now on the West Coast? Like 4 a.m.? Up early or up late? One of the two. Seven Roaches being popped out of here. For Rainer, I, I don't think this is a real attack. I, I think Rainer is just afraid of something that Elaser might be doing. But Elaser right now is actually not doing a whole lot. Elaser is just building, building links. Now getting a couple of roaches, but that's ten drones later than his opponent. Elaser is building three safety spines because he's afraid of an attack. But this is a fake attack. This ain't real. See the Baneling being morphed here. Five spines on the way. If any of these spines finish, this would be god-awful for a laser. It's not quite the case yet. Links make their way in towards the main base. Evo Chamber on the way for Rainer as well. As we... Uh, I think I think Elaser is actually planning on finishing some spines. No, he's not. That's good. That's good for Elaser because he's going to keep his drones alive. Lost quite a bit of mining time though. And a bit of money on the cancels. Got supply block as well at the same time. Doesn't have an evolution chamber. And this is in some serious crapperonis. Late on the fort base. Or maybe he's getting this fort base because he's just floating money. I'm not sure if he's late on that fort base at all. Are you casting? Yeah, yeah. Casting we are, my dear friend. Spire coming up for Elaser. Okay. As well as an evo chamber now. He's down in workers. He's down in supply. This Spire is not going to make matters much easier for him, because that's an investment, right? You also want to save some resources when you're getting a Spire, usually. So these are things we also need to keep in mind. Coffee. Over here on the way, for uh, just now for Elaser. Elaser has parked a couple of roads in the middle of the map. Overlord Speed on the way. Oh... Yeah, Overlord Speed here on the way for Rainer. That's going to be the end of the Spire Dream. Or at least it's going to get scouted at some point. This Overseer is going to get pushed back. It's 135 supply to 124. Elaser starting to at least collect a little bit of uh, resources. At least when it comes to the gas. He has three, 400 gas in the bank. wonder how many Spire units he's actually planning on making. Is it going to be three, four? I don't actually know. You know what I was thinking the other day? What if when the opponent plays Mudas, you go for like a Queen Drop Roach all in? How good would that be? That'd be really cool, if you ask me. Not sure if it's good, but cool, it definitely would be. Okay, Overseer pops in, sees the Spire. Hydro then immediately gets uh, blasted down here. What if we're going to see a second Evo Chamber here as well? The thing is, is that I think in a long macro game, 
Elaser is not favored, right? And it feels to me... Oh, there's already a second Evo here for Raynor. It feels to me that Raynor's gonna survive into a long macro game. As Elaser is planning on following this up with what seems to me like a plus one timing attack. And it, it doesn't feel like there's a, a lot of potential for that right now. Spores on the way. There's no vision except for this Overlord that sees all the roaches, so there is some vision. It's actually kind of big. Four more drones on the way right now for Raynor. Needs to be careful that he doesn't over drone. Just wants to make sure that he stays alive. Because he's investing in things that will not help him in the here and now. But help him in perhaps the afterlife. Um, if he's gonna die. Well, actually, that's not right quite how StarCraft works. There's no afterlife in StarCraft. So he'll just be dead. Overseer now being blasted as well. We get the uh, pneumatized carapace. No, what's this called? Why can't I get the name of the the Hydra speed right now? Just uh, I'm blanking on it for some reason. But we are building it. Plus two on the way as well as an infestation pit. We're going up to seven gases for Elaser. Same gas count that uh, Raynor is using here. Why are roaches so popular and standard for zergs? In ZVZ it is the best unit that is uh, relatively cheap. It's quite quick, it, it does well against Lynx and Banes, it does well against pure Hydra. Only once lurkers are out is there really a better unit than the roach, and even then you probably still want to keep some roaches initially. Uh, it's kind of a meat shield. Just an easy unit to mass, and it's very powerful, you can hit good timings with it as well. Faster Hive here for Elaser. Who is heading into uh, yeah into that first? He's down in upgrades though. Ooh. So he does not have the carapace upgrades. His mutas are being pushed away by the hydralisk. I almost feel like he laser should be capable of fighting this. 198 supply to 199. 136 army supply to 132. But there's more Ravagers here for Elaser. He wants to fight before the plus two of Rainer finishes. That's for sure. He's looking for an angle, and he's not quite finding. He's going to lose two roaches or three roaches here in the retreat. Nice moves out of the Italian Stallion, who's taking a fifth base. Mudas do find it as the plus two now finishes for Raynor. And I think right now is the timing where Raynor wouldn't mind, you know, just uh, seeing if he can find a fight. And I think he might just be capable of finding one here. Doesn't want to walk up ramps, though. He's going to walk up a ramp here. This is not a lot of units, but it's still a ramp. And there are Ravagers there. This is an awkward split coming out of Elaser. Not a lot of Ravagers on that left side here defensively. Is the Lurker then now going up for the Polish Zerg player? While well, we see Raynor. I, I reckon he has a, a Lurker then done already. Yeah, okay. Two Lurkers already on the way for Raynor. It's going to be a... a Quicker, actually, with the Seismic Spines as well. The range upgrade for the Lurker, due to that Lurker then being done just a bit quicker. Plus three starting for both players as well. So we're going to continue into uh, the early stages of the late game. Now, that doesn't mean we're necessarily going into a Lurker-Viper battle. There's still a portion uh, before that where uh, maybe Roaches and Ravagers can do something, especially against low Lurker numbers. Ravagers are not bad against low Ravager, uh, low Lurker numbers because of the Biles. This base is actually going to get killed, and it seems to me that Raynor was surprised by that attack. If you looked at the cam as well, he looked a bit shocked there by the fact that these units managed to just uh, march across the map. Overseers or Overlords now being taken out as a reinforcing Hydra is also going to get blasted. Feels to me like Elaser is almost trying to go for a surround on that army. Not sure how possible that is. This is a good start of a fight, though, for Elaser. As uh, he now needs to run. Still tucked in between his legs. Roaches, meanwhile, hitting the fort base. Once again, Elaser outmaneuvering Raynor here. Wonder if he's going to be capable of getting this base. He's not going to commit to it. He's going to lose a bunch of roaches in the retreat once more. Elaser not with a fifth base yet. Raynor keeping his fort alive. Now has... A surround here on the roaches on the right or on the left side. The only thing left on the map are the units on the far right. Very cool move out of Raynor. This looked like a tough situation, but with some solid movement, some good control, is going to get out of here. No aid gas quite out yet either for Elaser, who's uh, pretty much running dry on Vespine right now. He's building a single corruptor. I'm not sure what that is for. I think that's a misclick as uh, Raynor's just going to march in here. Roaches on the right, lurkers on the left. And to me, it feels like that uh, Rainer is going to pick up a victory here on map number one, which was Golden Aura. Yep, GG gets called. That indeed is going to be it for map number one. Very solid stuff.
starting lurkers first, you see like starting disruptors first in PvP. Uh, as in it's not very good or because usually the person that gets disruptors first in PvP, it's not so great. You want to be the player that does it later, not the one that does it first, at least majority of the time. Um Din, din, di, 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 din, di, di, din. What do you base map picks on in mirror matches? Whatever map you prefer. Yeah. Just if you like a map, then you can play it. Which is why I like vetoing in uh, in mirror matchups often. It feels good. Does casting come natural, Captain? Or you need bullet points? What do you mean bullet points? <laughs> how, how would you cast with bullet points? Because I don't know what's going to happen in the game beforehand, No. Or do you think I pre-watch live tournaments so then I can give some some good insights afterwards? I like the thought of that, to be honest. That I wouldn't mind at all. Mm. So no, it comes. I mean, it comes next roll. I like hearing myself speak. So <clears throat> that's why I also hear myself back in my in ears, so I can hear myself double. It's like, God, that was smart. And I heard it twice. It feels really good. <laughs> Make sure that the ego stays at a decent size at all times. <laughs> Some of the most important things in life. Let me see. I think I set everything up properly right now. You also hear the mistakes twice. Yeah, but that's that is saying that there's mistakes, which oh, it's the wrong button. <laughs> Not sure if that's entirely true. There we go. Okay. Too bad Harstam can't do these jokes in official cast. Uh, I don't do official cast. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> Would you say your English is better than your Dutch now? No, my vocabulary in Dutch is much. Uh, much bigger and also the sentences flow much more natural although i do struggle when i haven't spoken dutch in a while to to switch back yeah it, it can be a little bit tricky at times but uh, my, my english is still significantly worse i just have read much more in dutch which helps so much i think so i'm trying to catch up and being just been reading a lot of fiction books in english to kind of you know train yourself but it still doesn't flow as natural as dutch does Do you like Dutch expressions or English expressions better? It's going to be on an expression per expression basis. Expression by expression basis. So some of them in Dutch are very good. Some of them in English are quite good. Um, why is Rainer's room always so dark? I don't know. You should ask him. I don't have any insights on the mind of this man. Elays are opening up with a pool first here. Into a metabolic boost as well. Oh, nice, nice. Rainer saving the planet. That's what he's doing. Ooh, quick spine crawler coming up here in the main base. Fast bailing nest for Elaser as well. This does not feel like it's the end of uh, what he's doing, you know? There's more to this. So he starts with a, a two ling attack. Is this just for a scout or what is... Rainer's gonna send two lings across the map as well. This is a rough build to deal with if you're... Uh, if you're Rainer. I always struggle with these types of builds. So what are the tells here for Rainer? It's gonna be checking the drone count in the natural. That's going to be something that is relatively important. At least in my mind, that is relatively important. The... Uh, if you can scout any extra links coming out, that would be huge as well. So Queen is going to try and deny some of that stuff, right? Elaser here is going to get scouted in the main. Just as his speed is about to finish, more and more links popping off right now. Do we have time for Rainer to build a wall? Rainer doesn't believe so. He's going to position his queens on the low ground. Started a third queen already as well. And now he's adding in a lot of links. Two banes being morphed. Are they aggressive somewhere on the left side? I think the answer is yes. I can't quite see it as the observer isn't showing it to us. 
Here come the initial links. Two Banes being morphed. Nice drone control. Queen staying alive as well. There's one Baneling already for your laser. Speed about to finish up for Rainer. Ooh, that first Bane doesn't do a whole lot. Can we get a surround on these Queens? No, we can't. As this attack falls flat on its face. And Elazer tries to drone up right now. Rainer instantly back into drones too. Realizing that this push has ended. Or that this attack has ended. That is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy indeed. Rainer with a, uh, well, a pretty significant lead I would say here. In the early stages of this game. Up a couple of workers. Has been mining more money as well. Throughout the majority. Neither player with a third base done, but both players getting it right now. Roach Warren starts for Rainer, as perhaps this allows an opportunity for Elaser to try and deal some damage. Even Bane Link Count, Link Count higher for Elaser. Queen's nearby for Rainer, first Bane goes down, as uh, Rainer absolutely out microing his opponent here. Like, no doubt in my mind about this. There were way more links here for Elaser, and I'm. Don't even think he's going to get a cancel on this base. New links are moving in. It's going to be real close. It's going to get a cancel. That's actually a decently sized deal. Elaser, meanwhile, also droned up a bit further. A confusing game. A difficult game. Elaser now perhaps going to be the one defending. Roach is on the way. Roach Orange is now starting for our Polish Zurich player. And I'm not so sure if he can actually hold his third base behind all of this. He's going to need to have a lot of links out, and preferably a couple of Banes already. Is this best of three? This is a best of five, actually. And after this, we're going to have a Protoss versus Protoss best of five as well. Yeah. A cheeky little PvP best of five. Queen continues attacking. Yes, um, ooh. no explosions quite yet. It's going to try and target on some of these Banes. That is going to work. That is good because that the, these links are going to be more effective. Ten Roaches on the way defensively as well for Elaser, who's up six workers. Just needs one or two more good Baneling hits. It's now going to try and fight these Roaches, but ideally would be winning more time. Spinecrawler is a little bit late here on the side of the Polish Zerg. Has the Queen out as well. Are there more Banes? Yes, they're moving in. Roach is now joining the fray as well on Elaser's side. Gets a surround on some of the roaches of his opponent. Supplies are even, but the roaches still need to move in position for our red zerg player. And he lays there in a, a surprising amount of trouble here, it feels like. He does have the roach count right now. He has the supply count. The spine is about to finish up as well. So I feel like he should be fine because he has the, well, the quicker reinforcement path, right? But a lot of roach is still in production. And now Rainer is actually taking a little bit of a lead. There is a Ravager that has just popped. It uh, kind of works as a giant distraction tool here. A fat balloon that these links are chasing. I and mean, what's more fun than chasing balloons? It seems like Rainer is getting way more damage done than I think he ever should have. Supplies are still completely even. And now Rainer gets a, a round of drones in as well. Just as Elaser is pushing this back. Links, however, are going to allow Elaser to clear all of the last roaches. And I don't think this is, this is entirely how Rainer wanted this to end. As uh, I don't think Elaser is done yet now. Because he realizes that there's probably something going on behind this. Whether that's going to be drones or whether it's going to be an upgrade. Um, or a little bit of everything. Drones, upgrade and layer attack. Elaser probably needs to try and deal some damage. He is supply blocked. Probably wants to move out for at least a couple of spines. He's going back right now. He needs to force more units out of his opponent I think. I think Elaser is almost doing this incorrectly here. A supply block is hurting him massively. Are we going to see units or drones? He's building neither. Okay, here we go. Drones. This is really late. Felt like there was an opportunity for Elaser to do something across the map. But he didn't. And now he's just, quite frankly, in a pretty bad spot. He's going to be down in upgrades. He's not going to have Roach Beat. He has less workers. It felt like R Rainer might have been in trouble, but... Didn't work. Spinecrawler on the way for Rainer, who's afraid. And this is still the, the same army that was there like two minutes ago, well, two minutes, a minute ago or so. And now Rainer is like, ah, maybe I should build some units. I think Rainer's actually just setting up for uh, a plus one timing attack. 
Because right now, Raynor knows that he's been out mining his opponent for a little bit. He knows he's going to have a faster upgrade and he's going to have Roach Speed. So he can always, always, always can just run away with his Roaches if he thinks the fight isn't worth it. He laser going uh, up to 62 drones here total. 60, no, 64 actually. I can't count. My apologies. Five more Roaches on the way as well for E laser. And here comes Raynor, 140 supply to 130, and I think that probably should be it. Elazer misjudging his position after uh, Raynor's attack, and that's gonna that's gonna cost him. It's gonna cost him the game. I'm not sure if he would have been capable of winning, but it would have been better than than dying like this. I think. What are Elazer's win conditions right now? They don't exist. I think. 2-0 in favor of uh, our Italian Zerg player. Phenomenal stuff. I'm just going to full screen myself again. <sighs> Thank you, by the way, kudos for the Twitch Prime subscription. Much appreciated. Excited for the mirror matchups? I'm always excited for the mirror matchups. All right. I love the mirror matchups. Arsenal, what competitions will you be playing in the near future? I'll be playing in the uh, DreamHack Dallas Regionals, which will start, I don't know when, somewhere in April. I want to say mid-April. Rainer looking good after losing the young day nine. I've heard that before that Elazer looks a lot like a young day nine actually. Yeah. You kind of see it in him as well. I mean, the hair color is different and size of the mouth, the nose, the eyebrows. Kind of a young look on their face, though, which Young Day 9 also had. Anyone has some news about Liquid Snoot? I was an absolute fan back in the days. I think Snoot, right now, is a uh, music producer. He, I think he was doing stuff with uh, he was a little DJ. He liked making music, I think. The EDM stuff. I wonder what Elazer's gonna do now. It seems like Elazer's the one that wants something to happen. You know what I mean? Hey, Harstem, why you don't play here? I tried to play and then I got knocked out. So most tournaments, when you get knocked out, you're not allowed to play anymore. I tried joining a lobby yesterday, but they told me I'm not in the tournament anymore and have to piss off. So I tried my best, I really did, but didn't work. When is Harstem going to the military? Not anytime soon. We don't have a uh, conscription anymore in the Netherlands. We used to have it. But then we quit. What if you change your account name to Elazer? And I start off racing with Zerg? I think I would just lose again. Doesn't sound like a brilliant plan. I like it though. All right. Let's go uh, build a hatchery or so. Arsim's also playing the Africa World soon. Ah, true. That's tomorrow, right? Play a tournament on new patch, new maps, Showtime Spirit, and v v v Wayne will be playing. So that's somewhat exciting, I think. So I think I'm playing against Spirit first. 
classic PVT. That's three W's. Very true. That's what I was thinking as well when I saw the group. Super chat from Kevin Hart. 10 US dollars. Good morning from Milwaukee. Thanks, Ruddy. Good morning from the Netherlands. The entire country says hello to you. Yarstam, thank you always for answering my questions. 12 points for the Netherlands. Thank you. I want 15, though. That is the highest amount of points you can get in Mario Kart. 12 points is what the second place gets. 12 points is not very good at all. I wish Starcraft 2 was more like Mario Kart. Because then I would win more. I'm quite good at Mario Kart. Alright, what do we have here? We have Lynx, followed up by a Rotorn Furry Laser, followed up by nothing quite yet out of Rainer. Ooh, Rainer's gonna get the scout on the Rotorn. Yep, he does get the scout. That's kind of big. Big ish. As yes, uh, this Ling attack is meant to cancel the third base or kill the third base, it's not gonna work. Well, it's not meant to, but he, if, he, if he could, he would like that, you know? He would like that, wouldn't he? The nasty prick. Three roaches on the way. What's he gonna do with these roaches? Five! There's more than three already. More links on the way. Raynor is not building a road or an or an Evo chamber. We're even in workers right now. Defensively, this is looking quite stellar for a laser. How the hell is a Link Bane player going to burst this? I don't think that's possible. Raynor disagrees as he builds 12 more links. He's gonna hide them, I bet. Mm, freaking nerd. I hate people who hide stuff. Get everything out in the open. Show it all for the world to see. Look how many links this is. He does this because there's no Banes right now. Oh, Elaser trying to get in with a scout. Doesn't quite get the full scout, but might get something. Look how look how active this denial is. Sees the lack of drones here on the third base. Ding, ding, ding. As the alarm bells uh, start ringing. The doors close. As Elaser with uh, five roaches needs to start moving to a drone line, I think, with these roaches. Yeah, it's gonna evacuate the drones. Might lose the third base, though. That would suck. There's one thing I hate is losing third bases. Oh, that's gonna be a surround. That's gonna be a surround. Drones need to evacuate. Where's the drones going? They're not evacuating. This is fine. Wow. Elaser with a hold so far. These links do not have plus one. These roaches don't have plus one either. Drones now being pulled off the line. More banelings moving in. Can we get a split? No, we can't get a split. As these banes hit absolutely everything. Couple of drones going down. Couple more drones going down. But to me, it seems like a laser surviving. Up not five, not six, not seven, but eight workers currently. With a large uh, roach count alive as well. Evo Chamber finishes at his third base. That's not quite where you want it usually, but could still use it to get a plus one upgrade going. Raider now trying to tech into lair tech as well as a roach war and is getting some more drones. Uh, so, ooh, Link sniping the queens is a kind of a, a gnarly move here. Double Bane Link's also morphing in in the main base. Let's see, did he laser spot that? Yes, of course he did. Another queen snipe coming in. Is that going to succeed? It is not. And I think Elaser has a timing window that is starting right now. It's going to last until pretty much minute 8. Where if he walks across the map, Rainer is dead. Rainer isn't just in trouble. Rainer is dead. And Rainer is also in trouble even if he doesn't do it. Although the Spire is going to put a little bit of a timer on these potential Roach attacks. There's not going to be Roach speed quite yet. I... 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 I, I. Elaser still up about 30 supply, 10 workers. We have three roaches that are being produced right now for Rainer. I 
I just don't know what Elaser's plan is. I think Elaser at any point can still just move across the map. They, we have some spines now being pre-built. Pre-building spines is uh, usually a smart move. Spines take quite a while to build. People don't realize that, but it's definitely true. If he waits for plus one, I think that would be good. If he waits for Glyo reconstitution, I think he's too late. He's gonna move out with three groups of roaches across the map. Nine Muras now start. I can't believe that Rainer is gonna be capable of getting back into this game. But that is what it feels like right now. As, uh... Yep. Two more spines starting for Rainer instantly. Hydra then goes down on the side of Elaser. As the Muas are about to pop and start flying across the map. This is going to be a Ling Bane Mutalisk. One of the old school compositions in this matchup. Is it a problem on my side or is the quality crappy? Oh, the quality is crappy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because I don't... See, I'm doing this without hands. I'm not actually in the game. I have access to a live feed. So, the, and the quality of the live feed just isn't very high quality. So this is the best that I can do. I tried uh, engineering the, the internet cables a bit better this morning. I opened up the street, started messing with it. No one has internet anymore in my neighborhood. I'm using my Starlink connection because of that. But yeah, this is the best quality that I can get. Muras popping in, Muras popping out as uh, Elaser. In the process here of throwing a, an almost impossible to lose game. As Rainer takes control, 76 workers to 62. And Elaser is now probably going to set up for some type of plus one Hydra Road Ravager timing. Muta count continues to grow. And he's going to need more Hydralisk than what he currently has. A significantly more Hydralist than what he currently has. Bailing speed also on the way. I actually believe that Rainer can probably just riot, like just attack into this now with his Muras almost. And not quite, but it's getting close. He's up, up to 8 gas. The laser probably just wants to max out. There's no plus 2 on the way here either. Muras now could be taking out some of these Hydras on the left side as the laser gets caught off guard. He's gonna lose 4 Hydras for free. He's gonna lose a Queen for free. See laser once again force back. I think this game is over. I think, uh, yep, these hydras can go down as well, and it's time for your laser honestly to kind of give up because he is freaking dead. Up 40 supply in the mid game, but once the Muras come out, life becomes really difficult. GG gets called. Rainer with a swift, extremely swift 3 0 victory over the Polish Zerg player. Doesn't seem too bothered by it. At all. Oh, look at that moustache here by uh, Gerard. Freaking love his moustache. He looks like someone that could actually play a king, you know? Like the Polish king or something. Like one of these Netflix TV shows. He looks like a fair king as well. Not one that's, you know, not one of these pricks that kills people because he's angry. He's like a good man. Is Gerald French? No, he's Polish. It's going to be our next match. And also the final match of the day. We have two best of fives. I thought that would definitely put a dent in the time. But so far, 33 minutes in, we have uh, only watched three games. And it's over. Prince more like. He's too young for a king. <laughs> yeah, probably. What if he ate his father, though? See? People never think about that. Then he would be the king, because he ate his father. His nickname should be D.R. Tagnan, because he's so noble. I don't know what this means, but I bet this is a really good reference that other people do understand. So I give you a thumbs up for it. You want to get married so you can pimp your wife to Gerald for free? That's, that's not usually how relationships work. But, you know, it's, 
It is a dream at least. That's a Three Musketeers reference. No one has actually read or watched the Three Musketeers. You might not be aware of that. I tried I tried to read it. The Three Musketeers is by the same guy that wrote the Count of Monte Cristo, which I did read. But it took me a while to get into the Count of Monte Cristo as well, you know? And then I couldn't I tried getting started on the Three Musketeers straight after and it was a bit much. Do you play basketball? No, I'm really bad at basketball as well. I often get, when we play basketball, my wife and I, she often beats me. It's really sad because she's like 140 and I'm two meters practically. Well, she's not 140. I think she's like 152 or something like that. She's a tiny, tiny lady. She's really small. Um, and I'm a huge gentleman. But she destroys me. She's much more precise with the shooting and stuff. The first time I went to... Uh, um, meet my uh, my in-laws in Canada. We went to play. Uh, we, we went we went to play you know horse with basketball, and uh, it was me, her sister, and then Irene. And the loser would have to eat a it's like a pepper, like a hot pepper. I can't remember what it was like a jalapeno pepper or one of the others. You know, one that you could just buy in a in like a supermarket, not like some crazy ghost pepper stuff. And I remember I got absolutely destroyed by them because they'd been practicing basketball for years just for this moment, you know, to beat up a, a tall StarCraft player. They destroyed me, then I ate the pepper. It ruined my night. It wasn't very fun. Stomach ache for the next three weeks. God, that was a rough trip. Can't you block or throw? Well, we were playing horse. I mean, like, if I were to play a one-on-one -on -one pickup game, I'm pretty sure I would just destroy it. <gasps> Get out of here! Tsh, body check a couple of times. Punch her when the ref isn't looking. And she's like, ref! I'm like, there's no ref here. We need to come to a majority decision whether that was a foul. And I'll just say that wasn't a foul. Yeah. Destroying. I don't play fair. One fifty two. I think she's like one fifty, something like that. Yeah. One one fifty five, maybe. Rounded up to one sixty. Oh, she's coming upstairs to tell me she's one sixty eight. I heard the door. I was baiting her. Sometimes I spread falsehoods so that she comes upstairs and then she tries and correct me. I could hear the door open, but she might have caught my last sentence is that I was baiting her. So now she's staying downstairs pretending like she didn't hear me. I see what's happening. No, there's no movement on the stairs. I gave her safe for now. She might actually be working. The original Count of Monte Cristo has more characters than Game of Thrones. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> there's so many <laughs> and the worst part about it is that they get described in different ways as well like they have different ways of addressing them in different situations so sometimes i'm reading i'm like what the where the hell does this, this guy come from and then i realized it's the same dude yeah it's a confusing book there's a spider on your chair keep going like this see what happens Come to Parukaville, Harstam. I will offer a dinner. I don't know what Parukaville is, but it doesn't sound good. Did you read it in French? No. Well, of course I wouldn't read. I can't read French. Well, I can read French, but not very well. If I had to read The Count of Monte Cristo in French, it would have taken me like five years to finish it. Just reading dictionary next to it. Tumas got paid per word. He was really milking it by the last half of the book. Is that true? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, th this is a long break, by the way. I'm not just talking with you guys because I enjoy it. I'd rather be watching StarCraft too, okay? But there's just this screen currently on, okay? So you just put it like this. <sighs> mm. 
<clears throat> where in Canada did you go? Um, uh, close to Toronto. It is. Yeah, close to Toronto. Toronto. And I've been to Montreal before. I've been to Toronto many times now because uh, the Shopify office is also there. So we always go there before American tournaments. Say hello to all the Shopify workers, man. The Shopify office is great. <sighs> they have like a breakfast and lunch like a thing inside. I guess it's just a, it's delicious food. They stock the fridge with delicious foods. They have chips there. Actually, they didn't have my favorite chips last time. I'm a huge fan of chips. They had white cheddar chips or something, or white cheddar popcorn, or you know, something like that. But it was like it was like coated in, in white cheddar powder. It was very delicious. It was it was good. I liked it. Mm. I also love Doritos, like the spicy Doritos. I ju I really like any type of chips. To be honest, I freaking love chips so much. If they could. You know what the problem is with these uh, companies that have like the meal shakes, like uh, the Ruel. Actually, I shouldn't crap talk them. I want to get a sponsorship with them. But you know what I'm talking about, yeah, these protein shake companies. The problem with them is, is that it's all in shake form. So people don't like drinking that as much. No one ever, it gets pretty bland fast to drink a shake. If you would put proteins and and you put it in chip form. That would be delicious. So you just open a bag of chips. You can all that down. You got all your 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 vitamins and minerals in this in chips. That would be much better. Why haven't I considered that? Or steak. They just put it in the form of a steak. Everyone loves steak. It's like, what are you doing? Cooking a steak? Like, no. Just warming up my hool. What, what are the other companies called that also sell like the mule shakes? Yeah, there's protein chips in Sweden, but you need just the entire meal, the meal replacement shakes. Estrella? I never heard of that. There's another one. Soylent. That's the one I was thinking of. Soylent and Huel. Steak already has that stuff in it, though. Yeah, not everything. There's no vegetables in steak. But you put the vegetables in the steak. Now we're truly thinking. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was sick timing. Ooh, show them what the heck. Oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gents, have you heard the news? It's a room review. Quick room review with Harstam. What do we think of the place? He has a Red Bull fridge. He has dumbbells in his living room. He's big into Easter. As you can see, some... Uh, Bird, no, not birds. Bunnies over here. Look, there's a bunny over here as well. He has a wall of pictures with himself, which is extremely high tier. Has a sign that says home. He's really big into Easter. What the hell? Look how many Easter stuff he has. There's bunnies here. The home is bunny themed. I love the dumbbells. It is well cleaned. Look how well taken care of this house is. See, everything just looks clean. Everything is in its place. Curtains that look nice. I like the colors on the wall. This thing that the TV is on is beautiful. This couch looks comfortable. I rate this room a 9. This is a 9. 9 out of 10 room. This is almost perfect. Look, it even has like smelling candles. You see that? Up here. It's a high tier room. Okay, let's go to the life part, sorry. Something might actually be happening that's interesting. Gerald's room is a 10 out of 10, by the way. I already saw that the other day, but we can look at it later as well. This room is a 10 out of 10. All right. <clears throat> Showtime coming in clean with uh, what smells to me like a proxy Stargate. Oh, God, my nose is working well today. That is proxy Stargate smell right there. It smells a bit disgusting at times, but boy, is it good. You should never judge food by its smell, unless you're eating poop. That is accurate. Well, I think at least. I've never eaten it. Actually, you probably can just 
judge most foods by its smell. Brussels sprouts smell disgusting, is disgusting. Cauliflower smells bad, is bad. Broccoli smells bad, is bad. Anything else? No. Bitter almonds smells bad. You eat them, you die. Cyanide? Not sure if there's an odor to cyanide, but I wouldn't recommend eating it anyway. Toxic, highly toxic. Cheese though? Cheese doesn't smell bad, does it? Unless it's stinky cheese, and stinky cheese is disgusting. So once again, it uh, checks out. Cyanide smells like almonds? Is that really true? That's so cool. Asparagus, checkmate. Do asparagus smell bad? I can't afford them, so I don't know. Actually, we used to eat asparagus quite a bit. Grilled asparagus or fried asparagus. They're quite delicious. I haven't eaten that in a long time. It's one of these things that has fallen out of fashion. Jurin is amazing. People that like Jurin have brain damage. This is not good for uh, Showtime, by the way. I really like Jurin. So I take back that last statement. This is the beauty of PvP, is that if you forget to wall your, uh, against the two Adept Shade in, you can lose six workers, and it's a really, really bad spot. So right now, we have a uh, quicker Nexus here for uh, Gerald. We have uh, relatively fast Twilight Council as well for Gerald. Good worker count for Gerald. The only thing that Gerald doesn't really have is uh, perhaps a sufficient defense against the four Adepts. So these four Adepts can still do something. We also have two oracles, and these two oracles can perhaps do something. Oh my god, how does he always find them? This guy is so good with his movement, it's bonkers. He really needs to, well... Oh my god, I think he could have maybe... I think he could have finished that shade, no? Not sure that would have been good. Showtime still in a playable spot, is now getting a prism, which is kind of a wild move. Uh, he went for oracle into robo, by the way. Which I, I really do appreciate. I give that move like a 7 or so. That is extremely cool. It's just extremely cool. Showtime in general is extremely cool. Showtime is actually really cool. Ooh. Split the shots. Split the shots. Is he splitting shots? No, he's not. All four targeting the same probe. It's not great, but gets four kills. That is quite great. Oracles could have flown in to try and deal some damage as uh, three adepts go down. Versus five workers. I think that is an okay trade here for Showtime. Showtime is going to be thinking back of this moment in time. And say to himself, this was fine. Now if he thinks back of this game five years from now. Well, I would be very surprised. But if he were to make like an analysis or a review of this game. This would be good. This is also a good move. No, he should have committed. He should have committed. Oh my god, what a move. Good. Nah. Okay, control. Three kills. That is enough, though. That is enough. That is all Showtime needed. He got those initial five, then he gets three more. Adept is now not going to finish. Both Oracles still alive. We have a third gateway, as well as Blink about to finish up here for, um, for Gerald. Show me a guy that can split the shots of four Adepts. Please show me. I mean, this is not a crazy challenge, is it? Because you just shift click with four and then you select the two that you just shift click to shift click again. Like. I'm not sure if you thought that this was like some crazy some crazy trick, but it isn't. Ooh, that prism might die, but it won't. Pylon blocking it. 43 probes to 38. Similarly timed Nexus here for showtime. Split shooting is crazy hard, though. Yeah, but they're professionals, aren't they? Like... There's a lot of things in this game that are- OH MY GOD! What a beautiful stasis. Now, fun fact, which isn't actually fun if you're the guy with Blink, but Blink doesn't- the cooldown doesn't continue when you're in a stasis ward. Okay? So you can force field this in. No, my God! Showtime messed this up. I think he could have had a couple of stalkers shaved off there. Because you don't have blink available.
gonna blink on top. I'm just gonna try maybe. This feels very all in all of a sudden here out of uh, out of Gerald. Gonna get a double adept warping in towards the main base. Where's them oracles at? Oh, big blink forward. Puff puff. Ah, too late with the prison pickup. That's a crazy move out of Gary again. I can't stress enough how crazy Gary sometimes is. He's just a wild player at times. Here comes a double oracle. So another couple of workers going down. Nice shade finishes off. Look how mental aggressive this dude is. He's gonna try to blink in the main. He's gonna get into the main. Showtime. He's in some serious trouble. Is he dead? No, he's not. I said this feels all in out of Gerald, and Gerald is, is moving like it's an all in. Although I'm not sure if it still is an all in. He picked up a probe and dropped it again. High tier move. I'm not sure what that was for. Stalkers on the high ground eventually are gonna get cleared. Get a recall. Overall, I think a fine trade for Showtime. Showtime's gonna be looking back at this particular move in five years. When he's doing his uh is his five yearly review of all of his games. He's gonna think to himself, that fight went well. He's gonna write it down in his report. Which he sends into his superior. Which then ends up just shoved into like a desk drawer, like all the other reports. Never read. Showtime will be sad. But it will not stop him in his resolve to become the greatest StarCraft 2 player that has ever lived. It won't. Fort base on the way for Showtime. Fort base on the way for Gerald as well. Ooh, there's a lot of immortals here for the uh, for Gerald. Plus two quicker for Showtime. Fort base with. <laughs> This went worse than I thought it would, but it still went very well. <clears throat> I actually think this went so well for Showtime here that he might be capable of just straight up winning the game. Which, if you guys remember, is usually the goal of StarCraft 2, is winning. So, uh, Showtime. Honestly, if I'm Geralt and I played this game, I wouldn't just be sad. I'd be destroyed. I'd be obliterated in the mind. Why? Is because his early game went as well as it could have. And then his mid game went fairly well. Like, all of his tricks worked out. And Showtime still won. He still won. That's what happens when you treat... Uh, he, he's very upset, and he should be. Like, he's, he knows he messed this up. And if I'm Showtime, I'm feeling uber comfortable. The power of the Easter Bunny compels you. That's what he's saying right now. If there is a house that Jesus is going to return to after Easter, it's going to be Showtime's house. You think Showtime is an egg painter? Like he wakes up on Easter morning and paints some eggs and then hides them in his backyard? Is that, that's not a Dutch custom, is it? That's what Americans do as well. I'm not saying something weird. Like you paint X, right? Is this new patch? Not yet. You did in Hungary as well? Love to see it. Only Zerg players paint X? I don't think that's true. Why would you paint eggs? To hide them. That's what you do, no? I don't know why we paint them. And then after you eat them. No? You find them, you paint them, you eat them. Sounds like an inefficient process. Why would you hide them if you're just going to try and find them after anyway? If you want to eat them, it's much better to just throw them straight into the pan. Puff. That's what we want in life. Ooh, look at that. That's a high tier room right there. Cheeky little Gerald room review. We've already seen his. Oh, come back here. Oh, yeah, the wall decoration. I think that's new. I didn't see that last time. Wall decoration, a light over here, and three outlets that aren't being used. This is a 10 out of 10 room. 
This is what a peak room looks like. It really is. What is the size of Harstam's monitor? What do you mean, what's the size of my monitor? It's huge. Like this. It's a 24 inch. Actually. Did I click the live button again? Yeah, I did. Nice. In America, nobody eats the painted axe? Wait, you throw them out? What the hell? Why would you do that? That's just a waste of food, isn't it? In America, the eggs are plastic. What? That doesn't make any sense. You can tell Showtime definitely has a girlfriend. Why? Because he's very good looking? Or because of his posture? Or because his room is decorated with bunnies? Or a combination of the three? Do Americans eat the plastic hacks? I would explain a thing or two. <laughs> All right, got enough with the Easter stuff. Go on, get it together, guys. Hold down. <laughs> All right. What, what, what are you actually doing here? Four stalker versus two stalker plus a death. Gerald is the king of making builds that don't serve a purpose in my mind. I freaking love it. Like, what is the point of having two adepts after the stalkers? You're just less safe and you get less scouting information. So this build its entire goal is to hope that the other guy is not paying attention and your adepts can shade into the main base. If that doesn't work, this build was garbage. Which is such an exciting way of playing StarCraft 2 in my mind, you know? Showtime with a fast robotics facility as well. Twilight into Robo, I love this playstyle. I really do. <laughs> oh, it works! It Gerald has to be the highest testosterone player in the entire world. It is actually insane. If I was Showtime, I wouldn't just be upset. I'd be so upset I'd be googling Gerald's address right now. Instead of like an ang angrily worded letter. You know what's been happening with Google? You know what's been pissing me off? With Google? A recent change with Google. Uh... Is that when you Google something, is that the Maps tab doesn't show up automatically? What the hell is this? You used to be capable of just clicking on the maps and then go there on the maps. That doesn't work anymore. And it's driving me freaking nuts. It is, it is so annoying. It is from EU law. I freaking hate the EU law. They put it back in, man. It's pissing me off so much. EU consider this unfair competition? To who? Apple Maps? There's no one that uses that. It's garbage. Maybe it's unfair competition because Google's product is so good. Piss off. Unfair competition. I'm so upset. I tried to Google bikes near me and now I have to type Google Maps first. It's idiotic. Yandex maps? I never even heard of that in my life. And I'm big into the map scene. Because I played GeoGuessr for a little while, so I know quite a bit about maps. Alright, let's focus a bit on the game. So Showtime opened up with Robo into Blink. Gerald with Blink into Robo. Showtime lost 
seven workers in the early game, Gerald lost none. And yet Showtime seems to be in a fine-ish position. I don't mind his spot at all here. Plus one for Gerald. I don't understand why Showtime is in a good spot right now. Do you ever have that when you look at games and you're just confused? It feels like Gerald just had a better early game, and now Showtime is even in workers. Has same timing plus one, similar infrastructure. Everything just went better for Showtime. Imagine if he had those six extra workers and the mining. It literally makes no sense. This is the type of replay that I want to see. Because uh, honestly, losing six workers to two adepts feels so bad for you. This was an insane blink, by the way. This is, a, this is, a, this is what we call a Gerald blink. It's like when he blinks forward. And if you have a second force field, he just loses four stalkers for free. But he didn't have a second force field. So he doesn't lose four stalkers for free. He just loses one. And he kills one. So it's still an even trade for him. It's a move with a lot of risk. That even when the risk pays off, just gives him an even trade. That makes no sense. Six more uh, probes have gone down at this point. Showtime's moving out on the map. This guy has balls of steel. If I had lost 12 workers in this game so far, I would not be on the map while building a fort base, let me tell you. He's gonna cancel the fort as well. Showtime has some, some qualities that I don't. Oh, he sniped the high energy sentry with the blink first. Yeah, okay, I didn't see that. But the, don't forget that the projectiles of the stalkers need to fly. So technically, you could have still force fueled it if you're fast. And Showtime's very quick. People don't know this about Showtime, but he's fast. Phoenix just uh, scouting around the map. So I think we have charge for at least one of the two players, and that player would be Gerald. I'm not quite sure if I saw charge being researched here for Showtime. I don't have that in my memory right now, but look at these zealots, how quick they are. That feels like charge is done. Gerald, a little bit of a lead in supply in general, is up five workers. He's gonna get another base uh, snipe though. Oh, Showtime with a gnarly blink. He's gonna get caught here and needs to blink down. And Enrico at the same time though, Zell is moving in towards the third base. Beautiful little maneuver. And this might just pay off here for uh, Mr. Showtime as he's attacking with his entire army. Rico has just been used. We're gonna get a snipe, I hope, on, on that uh, battery. No, we're not sniping the battery. I feel like if that battery had been sniped, this would have been even better for Showtime. That is not the case, but... He is taking out a lot of workers. He's now recalling a big portion of his army back home. We have some zealots that are still on the map. Showtime, uh, yeah, he's been playing some phenomenal StarCraft today. I want to have these replays. That's what I want. I really want these replays, actually. Because Showtime, both games, was in god-awful positions. And he's just making it happen, okay? And that's much, much harder than the stuff that I usually do. Usually what I do is I get very far behind, or very far ahead, and then I almost lose. Or I do lose. I much prefer what Showtime is doing here. She's having terrible early games and outplaying his opponent for like 10 minutes straight. Like these moves are so good. And he's forcing Gerald to move into him. Showtime all of a sudden is up 20 supply. Gerald is wondering where the time went. Back when I still was ahead. Oh yeah. Get out of here, old man. Those times are over. This is Showtime's era. Showtime's gonna be reviewing this game in five years from now. He's gonna be thinking to himself, that was. That was a couple of good moves there. I liked how that went for me. I played well. Just gonna write up a neat little report about this game and hand it into his superior. We're gonna get a two Archon push. If Showtime is out of position, he could still lose. Positions are so important. That's why Ariana Grande wrote a song about it. Ooh, ooh. 
Oh, this is not a nice fight here for Showtime. The right side was mediocre. Prism didn't die. These force fields are good for Gerald. I think Showtime needs to uh, not attack into this. Right? Showtime's gonna move forward. I mean, Gerald is very all in here. It feels like very all in. It's not even that all in. This is a good position for Showtime where he wants to fight. Mm. That blink forward, I'm not entirely sure on. Showtime is sure on it, though. Two more Archons are going to show up. They're just uh, idling in the background. Hello? Mr. Archon? Yeah, Showtime. This wasn't a fight. That blink forward was risky. And uh, that, was a, that was something that didn't pay off. Showtime with a mistake. You know what's interesting? Is that if Showtime in five years from now is going to be reviewing this game in that particular fight, I don't think he's going to be very happy with that. He's going to write up a neat little report and say, hey, that wasn't that good for me. 150 supply to 141. Showtime is aiming to kill this Nexus. Is he going to get it? I think the answer is yes, but at what cost? Uh, the cost is going to be a couple of Stalkers. Five workers go down at the same time. Zealot run by hitting the far left side. Stalker's not completely returning back home. Plus three finishing up for Showtime before the plus three of his opponent finishes up. Showtime uh, with some crazy movement here. Yeah, that's not the move though. Blink forward. Pop, kill a zealot. That's what I would have done. Then lose three stalkers to the charger. Those are details. No one cares about those. We're headline readers here, baby. Read the headline, make a decision. That's what we do. See a zealot running away, we blink, we shoot it. And only people that read the full article know that I also lost five stalkers. But that's for idiots. <sighs> five base versus four. Disruptors are going to be pumped out at a high uh, a high pace. Because we have Robos. We have a Robo Bay. Ah, Showtime in a superior spot here. It's hard to imagine a world in which Showtime loses this game right now. He has a good double army split. He's getting a sixth base, adding in cannons. I'd love, You know what I'd love to see here? Is a second forge. Is to go for those shield weapon upgrades. Or the shield... Just the shield upgrades. Ooh, blinks him forward. That's a, a move. That is a move. It feels risky, though. A non-good fight here for Showtime. Oh, never mind. It's actually fine. He's going to lose this one, but he's winning the fight at the right side, or at least doing something there. And he's trading stuff, which is good. Killed 17 workers. This was definitely worth it. Absolutely. The only thing he needs to be careful right now is that he doesn't get pushed back. Like, if he gets hit by a big disruptor shot... And then just gets blasted on a counter-attack. Counter-offensive. This feels like watching a 300 to 400 MMR difference game. Shotham is very good, yeah. And he probably is about 3 to 400 MMR higher than Gerald, yeah. Because Shotham is just slightly better. Armor upgrade on the way for Showtime, level 2. Here comes a disruptor shot, does not connect. Like, imagine if Gerald maxes out on Archon, Immortal, Disruptor, Stalker. That is a powerful force, you know what I mean? That's, that is no joking matter, it really isn't. But then he does need to max out, and I think that might just be the issue. Ooh, a gnarly blink forward. More Zealous running in right now. Shotan wants to trade because he's outmining his opponent. He's going to get a quite, a quite a decent trade here. Both players going down to lower supplies. One more Archon's going to get sniped as well as the Stalkers move back home. Gateway count much, much superior here for Showtime as well. As now our good friend Gerald believes it's time to send it. Um, it's probably going to be the best time for him to go because he's, he's going to have some Disruptors. He still has some Immortals in here, some Archons as well for tanking. Ideally, would have to have at least... Uh, one big purification nova before he sends it. 
But the moment Showtime gets to split his army again, things actually go wrong. Cheeky little load. Hate to see it. This is what happens when you have live feeds. As I know, I like live feeds. Sometimes when you pause and then you start again, it works. Never works. What we can do is we can go back some seconds in time and then pretend that we haven't seen it yet. So here we have an army split out of showtime. So this disruptor shot is not going to hit. And really what Gerald wants is a big disruptor shot at this point. That would help him move out. Dark Shrine on the way for showtime. couple of disruptor shots being sent out right now. I think this would be a good opportunity for Gerald to fight because Showtime's army isn't split right now. So we're going to have more disruptors popping out. There's a couple of immortals in this army. Here comes a disruptor shot. It's not quite going to hit anything. And Showtime is going to split his army once more. Starts a Dark Shrine as well. Thanks for tuning in. The stream ended 74 seconds ago. Uh, Kaput. Try the Twitch stream, also broken, according to the channel. Everyone's complaining about it in the channel. I know what to do though. I'm pretty smart. I'm back in. <laughs> I fix it. I have brains that other people don't. Ooh, this game is actually really close. Seven base versus four. Big blink forward. Where's the army for Showtime, though? He's down 11 right now. He's going to try to make an engagement, but this isn't a good plan at all. He needs more units before he can truly engage. Disruptor count is decent. Stalker count is decent. There's still an Immortal there as well, which, of course, helps. This base is going to get sniped. Showtime now trying to run in for a bit of a base trade. But, and I think Showtime should win a base trade. He has more gateways. He has uh, better eco. Gonna get a recall. 90 workers against 54. 79 army supply to 70. Upgrades has to have to be somewhat close. Gerald right now is trying to expand towards the uh, 11 o'clock expansion on the map. And if he takes out four more bases, has a chance of making this into a macro game again. That's one. Needs to take out this bottom base without losing anything, by the way. That's fairly important. Like, this is why base trades don't really tend to work against this style. And that's why Showtime is doing it. Because Showtime just has way more mining right now. He kept expanding like a snake growing multiple hats. Showtime also grew multiple hats if those hats were bases. Um, and now Gerald is having difficulty dealing with the snake. The snake has gotten too big. Too many hats. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Except they're snakes and they're eating your face. And uh, that's not quite what you want in life. 29 worker supply against 89. Army supply is fairly close. Showtime wants to have an engagement right now because he needs to trade out some of his army. First disruptor shot. Doesn't hit. Second one is a big hit. Oi, 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 oi. That was a huge hit over there. Absolutely massive hit. That would have made it high up on the billboard charge. We're going to get a big blink forward for that final disruptor. And that is going to be game set. And game because it's 2-0 uh, in this best of five right now showtime one map away from match point as gerald is finding the g keys on his keyboard he has a very large keyboard many different letters but only a single g and it switches position every day 44 supply to 181 and there we go showtime takes game number two are there any more matches after this no 
this is it. Gerald looks like he's uh, browsing on his phone right now. Maybe he's on my YouTube. Look for a video in which I beat Showtime. That's what I would do. Or asking a question on the Battle.net forums. That's also what I would do. <laughs> Chat GPT strats, maybe. That's asking for a loss. A loss. An L. It's looking out of the window. You know, yesterday I went outside, which was quite an event by itself already, and I saw uh, a little... It's not really a duck. It's a... Uh, it's called different. It's like... Uh, but they live in the water, so they're practically ducks. And he was making a nest in the water. So what I did is uh, when I was walking the dog, I threw some sticks at him. And then he would grab the stick that I threw at him in his beak, put it in his nest. And then I threw another stick and he go get it again in his nest. Because where I was were loads of sticks. And in the water is not so many sticks. And he was just looking in the water. Uh, yeah. So you could say I made a friend yesterday. And then we returned around the same place um, and we'd collected a bunch of sticks to all give to him at the same time. But then Irene gave him the sticks and the duck wanted none of her sticks. He looked at the sticks, I was like, they smell not like harsh them. So, yeah. His nest only has good sticks, my type of sticks in there. Yeah. Pretty wild. As a cool animal. A nice nest as well. I can take a picture of it one of these days. It looks sturdy. Lots of good sticks that I gave him are in there. Water chicken, moorhen. How am I supposed to know these words? His, uh, his feathers are black and he has a beak. But I can't remember the color. Maybe it's white. Maybe it's uh, orange. Why is it a he? Um, I think the female was on the nest. Was just chilling. Because I, I figured she is about to lay an egg. You know, that's why they're doing the nest. So the guy is doing the work. That's why I thought it. We kind of messed up. If uh, she's about to poop out an egg. And he's just uh, hanging around on the nest. While well, she's doing all the hard work. White is a coot, orange slash red is a moor hen. Okay, maybe a moor hen then? I don't know. That's how a lion society is? Yeah, females hunt, right? With the lions. What do the males do? They protect their territory, which I guess is the more dangerous job. Right? So... Is it? Or is the lion just strong arming his way into uh, a better life, not having to do anything? The males hunt alone? Really? Alright, let's have a look. Gerald with a fake proxy. Into Stargate at home. This is another build. And uh, ooh, Showtime with 3-gate robo. Build order wise, extremely favorable for Showtime, honestly. This is one of these situations where you look at it and you think to yourself, good lord, I'm glad I'm not Gerald right now, because this is not a nice spot. I should maybe get some Easter decoration as well. It seems to work well for showtime. Like he's freaking owning today.
Here comes the Prisma. Robo is no good against Stargate. Yes, but this is a three-gate Robo. So this is good against Stargate. Ooh, although this situation is weird. And the moment these... Uh, so both players should try and walk upstairs right now. Showtime is slower with that realization, which is actually quite bad. That is actually quite bad indeed. Showtime. That is not good at all. It's gonna lock some of these bad boys in. He, Showtime here playing way too slow. He went for the Nexus instead, but that is a, a blunder. A serious blunder here. He needed to walk up the ramp. Uh, Gerald miraculously getting a better a better trade here, which really makes no sense. That really makes no sense. It's a little bit laggy on my end here. Well, it's their end. And my internet is perfect. Checked it myself this morning. Showtime's still going to try to commit. If that battery finishes up, that will be difficult, but the battery isn't quite done yet. Double force fields now coming out. Robotics facility defensively is about to finish up as well. I'd love for this Oracle to just move across the map and stay there. Once this Immortal finishes up on the side of Geralt, Geralt is going to be safe. Before that, however, he could be in trouble. As uh, Pro being pulled off the line. Holy crap. There's no half measure here with uh, Geralt. Uh, still can use the super battery as well. Now utilizes it. Should use it to heal up that uh, Nexus a bit. Yeah, there we go. I think Gerald is doing it. He's holding. This was technically a build order. Well, not a build order win, but a build order advantage for Showtime. As the prism, this is a fake prism. I'm not quite sure why it's here. But it is. As uh, Gerald still has the stasis to back up to. Immortal now pops out. Should start a new Immortal instantly. Has the money for it. Isn't building it yet. Loses a Stalker. Ooh, that's gnarly. Nexus gets built behind this for Showtime. Down. We're going to have another attempt. Probably at the life of this Immortal. As uh, Showtime, I think, might actually be doing it. God. This guy just doesn't stop getting Ws, does he? Oh, the perfect for his game. That's a game here, my dear friends. If he gets the Nexus kill now... Yeah, that's pretty freaking bad, my friends. That is pretty freaking bad. Should try and activate that stasis with just a single unit. Yeah, almost correct. So now basically has everything better than his opponent. Dude, this looked so good for Gerald after that uh, early game. Showtime messed it up, and then Gerald messed it up. Oh yeah, good control though out of Showtime. That was a surgical force field indeed. This is why people often call Showtime the surgeon as well. It has nothing to do with the fact that he has a doctor's degree and is a surgeon. It's because his force fields are so precise. That's why people call him the surgeon. Much better reason if you ask me. Less surgical force field. Is the sound bad only for me? I hope so. It's fine. Sound is bad here as well. Sound is good here. That's weird. Well, either way, Showtime's about to win this game and does the series. This drop should not be capable of doing too much. There's six stalkers at home. Meanwhile, Showtime is bursting up the ramp. I... Phenomenal show. It, this is the beauty of Showtime. Showtime can turn bad situa situations into great situations. He, really a masterclass of PvP today. Oh my god, the Surgeon does it again twice in a row. Immortal gets knocked out as Gerald once again struggling to find a GT. He's absolutely that right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's two base versus one. It's 70 supply to 37. What a game on StarCraft 2. What a show by Showtime. Good luck tomorrow. Because tomorrow will be Rainer versus Showtime. Wow. That's exciting and epic. Uh, time to celebrate Easter. You're surprised that Showtime has never invited me to celebrate Easter with him. I didn't know he cared so much about Easter. Do you send people cards for Easter? Like, you know, you, you send Christmas cards, right? This is pretty common, I think. I don't think I made that up. Um, 
do you send Easter cards as well? Or what do you do for Easter? We used to have like an Easter brunch, I think, or Easter breakfast. That was, that was pretty common. I didn't know he was this much into bunnies. That's crazy. Enjoying this high-paced tech product commentary. Thank you for the 65 Swedish kroner, uh, Catbird Sis. I appreciate that. Let's see if I missed anything on Twitch. Wardy with the 40-month resub. Thank you. Toad Bear with the Twitch Prime. And Kudos with the Twitch Prime. That was an hour ago. Amazed DK1D. That was 12 hours ago. Oh, thanks so much. Appreciate all of you equally. Showtime's second biggest passion after StarCraft 2 is bunnies. I didn't know that. I didn't I didn't know Easter was this big as well. I thought it's one of these holidays that is kind of, you know, has lost the, the holiday brawl. There's been so many I feel like we have new holidays and new days popping out all the time. So I figured that, that Easter's gonna, you know, bite the dust. Because it's let's face it, it's a pretty crap holiday. Halloween has been making a big come up in the Netherlands as of late. Like that is that that one's on the rise. I think worldwide Halloween is on the rise. It's cause it's a good holiday. You know what I mean? It's like you dress up, you get candy. It's like, who doesn't like that? No one. I was going to say dentist, but my theory is that Halloween was invented by the Dentist Association to get more business. I bet there's a massive uptick in dentist appointments like one or two months after Halloween. People just have cavities everywhere. Their teeth hurt. I heard that the Dentist Association has been lobbying for a second Halloween. In early March. That's what I've heard. They actually want to make it quarterly. That's their end goal. Is what I read on their website. Alright. Let's play some games. And now with the jokes, guys. Halloween is a terrible event. Why? Well, how can you even dislike Halloween? your own doesn't want anyone else to have fun you, you dislike halloween if you hate fun true hey what's up snormal you just dislike dressing up well you don't have to do it it's a good excuse to throw eggs at people as well the, the tp houses it's such a um, it's such a volatile holiday as well you know you can do what you want really like there's no wrong answers you know what I'm saying like you can you can make your house look real scary or you can just stay outside inside and do nothing you can gather candy you can throw toilet paper and eggs at people, and no one's gonna mad, you know? It's expected. It's par for the course. In a way, as well, people don't realize this. But, ooh, almost built an eBay first. Uh, Halloween is kind of like the event where bad neighbor, neighbors get their karma, you know? It's, uh, it's karma payoff day. That's what it is, in a way, you know? You've been a bad neighbor. You've been... You know, you know, if, you know, if a football, if it lands in the garden of certain neighbors, you're afraid of getting it back because they're pricks about it. You know, yeah, that's that's the house that gets act during Halloween. That's where the toilet paper goes. You know, it is neighborhood karma. Uh, communities coming together to punish ball stealers. Whatever happened to the kids ringing your doorbell? Halloween. That's what happened. It wasn't even kids. It was just one. Stop doing it after a while. You know what was a good concept? The Purge. 
as in not a good concept to use in real life. That was such a good concept for a movie, you know? I felt the movie wasn't so good. It always saddens me when you have like a crazy good concept like that. And then it gets kind of ruined by bad... But by it just not being so good. It wasn't bad. It just... Just wasn't that great. There's a movie already? Yeah, I know. There's a, I'm discussing the movie. I think there's like three of them as well. It's not just one movie. It, made, it immediately made four. I like that concept so much. And it just wasn't good. There also there lives an anime watcher in my house right now. Not gonna name any names. Um, and very often, the synopsis, synopsi, what's the plural of a synopsis? Synopsises, synopsi. I'm gonna go for synopsi for now. Of animes are pretty good. It's like, ah, oh, that sounds interesting. And then you watch it, and I just can't do it. It's like all these. Uh, Whenever someone is angry or they're happy, then there's like a little dancing scene and it's all colored and they turn into little babies and their their hearts start to ding, 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 ding. It's just so ridiculous. I feel like a lot of good stuff gets ruined by anime. It's like all these good, these, these cool plot twists that they could have had, but instead it's all in an anime, so I can't watch it. It's really quite crazy. Uh, and it was the same with The Purge. It's where I was just upset. That they ruined something that could have been so good. Synopsis is synopsis? Okay, I didn't know that. I kind of want to scout something, don't I? What's this guy even up to, though? Huh? Oh, that's three. I mean... Yeah, I'm gonna have to cancel this. <sighs> Dang it. So I think that he's playing Robo as well. Uh, like Phoenix Robo. It was obvious it was Phoenix. It feels like Phoenix Robo. The lateness of that base is what kind of gives it away. Why did I up that? I know why I upped it. I shouldn't speak. I'm just gonna go here. A little bit of a supply block. I've been working on my biceps. We have quite a bit of supply, don't we? I like having a lot of supply, you know that? I'm a supply monster. Supply for breakfast. Oh, wait, what the hell? I miss rat.
He also misread a little bit though, didn't he? This went not well. This is also a mistake. I wish that killed more. That was good. Should have scanned. I actually did scan and then I still went on with it, which was a, a blunder, definitely. really well for me, didn't it? Oh. Ready for dust off. Ghost Why would he send in a single DT? That makes no sense, no? That actually makes no sense at all. so good for my opponent, was it? What's he actually doing? Is, does he have a base here or no? Not quite where I want it to be. Oh god. Please die, please die. This also didn't go quite well. This is such a free win as well. I hate when I have very good early games. And then mess it up by myself. actually have a lot of crap, does he? Not 
How did I see that? Oh, was that turret? This ain't go well. We don't have that many workers, but we have enough workers that we should be fine on four bases. We're so desperate right now, like it's not even funny. Like, he's not even close, it really isn't. He probably has this bottom side base as well. We're still just uh, we're trying our best, alright? We're coping so hard. We should agree. I think we could have probably still done it at some point if I would have split my army a bit faster. But he had too many bases. I needed to kill stuff. Because he actually... He took some... Uh, uh, debatable decisions. 
Yeah, I also had bad ego. You can still live <laughs> buildings in the corner. Ah, this is such a bad game. I'm so sad when I play like this. So bad. Why no PFS fourth? Uh, because I didn't think I could ever get a fourth down anyway. So I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, you get Nisho now. That's not a good game. I just misread the early game completely. I thought he was playing uh, Phoenix Colossus, but he was playing Phoenix Charge. And I never got a good understanding of that, to be honest. So then, yeah, life was pretty rough for me. I think a general Phoenix Charge is not bad. But the way... Uh, it went now uh, was really poor because I lost basically all my early pressure with the Marines. Then I went for another attack, which I fought outside of range of my uh, mines, which also wasn't great, obviously. So yeah, yes, I probably just shouldn't have gone for a push at that point. I think I had too little supply. Um, I wonder what I'm going to do right now. I'm not quite sure yet, actually. We can play a similar style or we can do something completely different. I'm actually feeling like opening up with a with a marine here first. Or maybe we do a Reaper into Triple CC. This is a kind of a common build right now. Common? It's not super uncommon at least. Where, is, where does this worker go? It goes in here. Yeah, whatever. I don't care enough about having that in time. I should probably, especially with this particular build. Um, so we're still gonna build a, a bunker here, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely still gonna build a bunker. And we go straight up into two marines. Yeah, should be okay-ish. Then we go triple CC. Oh, that always sucks so much if you're the protos in this case. I freaking hate when that happens so, so much. Just doing your good job scouting, you know, your due gil diligence. And then this crap happens. What is it? Robotics first. That's actually the worst possible build order I could be playing against. That is fairly unlucky for me, to be honest. Robo first against triple CC is really good. No, no, no. Ah, I'm dead. If he would have shaded uh, to chase me, I would have actually been dead. But he didn't, and thus I might live. Um. Hey, this is really bad. So there's a couple of things that can happen. And the best thing he can do is go for a Colossus drop right now. That would actually be the best thing by quite a decently sized margin as well. Ooh. It's gonna finish that. That's great for me. Forgot to start a tech lab here, which is less great for me. But getting that kill is worth so, or getting that uh, that force away is is worth so much for me that I don't really care. It's gonna get a uh, factory over here as well. So we're gonna go into a factory really fast. Because I don't believe he's going to all-in me. If it's an all-in, it's going to be of charge lots. But that seems unlikely. Um, there's like a two-on-one type of follow-up here. This is pretty greedy, but I scouted that he went robo first. So I think I had to do something. In case it was... like, a, In case it actually was a Colossus drop, this would have really sucked for me. So I think I'm... Hey, it's not safe, but it's safe-ish enough. See if we can get another scout, a bit of scouting info out. He should have figured out right now what I am doing. 
Because I assume he went for a uh, an observer first. Yeah, you see that? He's over here. So we, we see that observer fairly clearly right now. I can see clearly now. I think I'm late with this star party. Even. Really wonder what this guy is up to. Where is the observer, huh? Where is the observer right now? Because I'm not really seeing it, am I? Two more barracks as well. Any of you see it? Sure to leave it down in the comment section below. So I'm freaking seeing no observer here. Around these ends. Oh, oh my god, it's here. It's been here all along. There we go. Nice. It's gonna get concussive as well. I only built a single uh, medevac, which uber sucks. That actually uber sucks. I'm gonna go four tech labs. This is what I saw, uh, I think Gumiho do. And I think Bian also plays something like this. So there's obviously gonna be another another uh, observer somewhere, right? If you play ob uh, Robo first, it's the only thing that makes any sense. Got a second one of these. Oh, I never started this. That's also not quite great. So we don't see anything here. No charge. Feels like straight Colossus then, yep. Oopsies. Now he has charge. Just kill this thing. Nope, again. Slow warping. It's always nice when that happens. Okay, we have plus two right now. Here. 
He has bad upgrades. I have two two. He is on plus one. I have pretty poor income on the on the gas though, which I'm not super happy with. Does he have cannons? No, he doesn't. Watch this. What I really need right now is make sure that I can't die while I don't have detection. How did he see everything? I guess he has freaking uh, dudes everywhere. Huh? What do you call them? Freaking observers everywhere, this guy. I think this guy could just die now. He's going to kill this bottom side base. I feel like he has vision here as well. Maybe he didn't. Okay, this is good. I can now just aim move across the map, I think. So I'm about to have 3-3. Three, three. Just have continuous uh, building of stuff between all of this. Is that... No, it's one of these. It feels almost like a fake one with this skin, now. So we're practically maxed again. And now we're just gonna move out, come on. Go kill some stuff, buddy. See if I can kill this. I can't remember him building DTs before, so it must have been the first. <sighs> Noise! <sighs> Good lord. Alright. I think, uh, my dear friends, that's gonna be it for me today. I think so, right? It feels correct to me. Huge Vector 5 3, leave me alone. Uh, gonna eat a little bit and then I'll see all of you I don't think I'm here tomorrow I don't think I'm here on Sunday I think Monday I'll be here let me check my calendar yeah Monday I'm here alright I'll see y'all on Monday have a nice weekend everyone and enjoy yourself